Good morning, everybody. This is Connor from Futures Analytica bringing you guys another live futures trading session. Today, we're going to be trading ES with the Polarity ATI ML module. We're going to be starting the day out here inside a regression mode. Right when we armed there, we actually got immediately filled into a short position there. And so we end up winning that one pretty quickly. We're going to be rearming it. Uh, the reason why we we're in regression is because of this high amount of chop in between these automatically derived zones, which were marked by the Analytica chart 4 plus. You can see we just got filled again into a long position there. So now we're outside of the zone. We've closed above that bar, closed out this entire zone there. We're going to be switching it into trend mode. Uh, we're going to see how this goes. Hopefully we have correlated delta and price and continue an uptrend here. Kind of a swift start to the day there. Just got filled into a long trade. We reached our automatic stop chase there. Hopefully we can end up winning. We almost got stopped out right there. Just won that trade. We're up to $1,224 on the day now. We're going to be switching it back into regression due to this large amount of chop. Right when we did that, we actually got filled into a long position there. Having some nice swift movement today. Hopefully we can capitalize on that. We're already up to $1,600 on the day. Right here, we're expecting price to bounce off of this level, but if it breaks through, we're going to switch it into trend mode to try and capitalize on a downtrend here. Okay, we got the formation of a new zone there right when we passed through it. And then we just got filled into a long position. So you can see we're expecting that bounce. And now we're now our order is confirming the uh, that we were correct in our assumption that, that would happen. And there we go. We ended up winning that trade up to $2,000 on the day. Now you can see these derived zones here on the Analytica chart 4 plus that are automatically marked by imbalances and absorption are super helpful when, when trying to determine what the market's going to do so you can guide polarity to do its best. You can see there we didn't switch to trend until we had gotten a uh, pass through, which it didn't, so we stayed in regression. And now we're getting some chop around this level here. We just got filled into a long position there, so um, let's see if we can end up winning this. It reaches our automatic stop chase. We're back down to our entry. We end up getting stopped out of that trade. That's going to be our first loss of the day, bringing us back down to $749.44. Also, guys, if you didn't see the uh, current blog post about Sierra Link and the upgrades we've made to our infrastructure at Sierra Link, we've cut latency almost by 60% for the Sierra plan. So um, make sure to check that out on the blog post on our website. You can see exactly what changes we've made and why we made them. We just got filled into a long trade there. We ended up winning that one pretty quickly. Back up to $2,100.57. Just got filled long again, reaches our automatic stop chase. We did get the formation of this new line there. If we close above this bar here with strong delta, we'll switch it into trend mode. This might be preemptive, but it looks like we actually did not close above that line. Uh, we actually dipped right back down and we got filled into a short trade. So we're gonna keep it in regression and try and trade between this channel. We're hoping we get some bouncing action between this because this is exactly the perfect length for some regressive action here. You can see that this zone actually formed right around the high of the previous area. So there was some uh, resistance here keeping that above that level. Okay, we end up winning this trade. If we blow through the zone, we're switching it into trend mode. Uh, but I'm thinking here we're actually probably going to bounce off of this level here. We just don't have the delta. Yeah, you can see here we just got filled long. Again, that's going to be another consecutive bounce off this zone here. I mean, you can really manually trade these levels if you want to, and it does very, very well. You don't even need polarity for that. Yeah, there we go. Almost prophetically, we ended up winning that trade. These levels have been very, very reliable. You can see after since this is marked, one bounce, two bounces, three bounces. Now that we're forming up some noise around this zone, this is going to be the first time we've, we've actually had noise at this zone since um, it was actually started. And we got the formation of that new red zone there. And then now we're get, we got filled into a short position. So you can see here that these two have equalized each other and we don't really have to consider this a zone. And you can see that zone was automatically completed. Now we have actually resistance here. So we think it's very unlikely for it to actually re-enter this area up here. But if we get stopped out here, that may not be the case. Yeah, unfortunately that got, we stopped out there. We're back down to 43.15. It's gonna be our second loss of the day now. We don't have any derived zones to trade off of, but we just got filled into a short position here. We're gonna have to rely mostly on delta and price. Strangely, uh, we have somewhat correlated delta and price, but at 727, we did have that positive delta spike with that negative price movement. Stuff like that on ES is is actually gonna be enough to make sure you're, you're to confirm a regression mode um, encounter. ES is much less sensitive to chop in terms of uh, its display of delta in price than NQ, almost to a point where it can actually mess you up. Uh, you really have to be vigilant about um, the numbers that you're seeing on delta. 
and uh, look for divergences because on NQ they can happen a lot and you kind of have to look for more than one. Uh, you're going to often look for a grouping of three. With ES, you really got to look for just one or two. You can see we ended up losing that trade, unfortunately. We're back down to $5,418. Just got filled into a uh, short position there. Reaches our automatic stop chase and we end up taking that win up to $5,800. Slow burn all the way up to $7,000 today, hopefully. Yeah, we're sticking around this level here. Not a ton of volatility, but it's enough volatility to trade. Hey, Ollie, uh, I'm using the Hyperscalp ES ATM strategy that is in the template that's, uh, that you should be using to set up your strategy. It's gonna set you up with the same settings that I have. See here, it has a stop loss of five, a profit of five, and a uh, stop strategy, which um, has a profit trigger of three, with a offset of negative three. Just got filled into a long position here, which is a classic regression trade, pushing us back into the range, if, at least if we end up winning this. Wow, unfortunately we don't end up winning that, back down to 5,500. This is a uh, trend mode switch here at this point because we've exited this zone with pretty clear direction. If we start to move back into that zone there, we probably will switch back into regression, but we just got filled into a short position. So if we win this trade, I'm, I'm glad we switched. There we go, up to 6,000 on the day now. Just got filled into a short position there. And we ended up winning that one as well, up to 6,351. We actually ended up getting filled into a long position here after we broke through this zone. And we ended up winning that trade. That's gonna put us right over our goal today of $7,000 on the day. We've expanded our take profit to 7,000. We've done, that, we've done that for a multitude of reasons, but mostly it's because we've been starting the day earlier. So starting the day earlier allows us to maintain volatility throughout the entire trading session that we're doing. When I start at eight o'clock, which is when I usually start, volatility has started to die down already. And by nine, it can be very, very dead. Because, but guys, thank you so much for tuning in and uh, stay posted for those updates.